In order to treat your battery with battery desulfator, you will need the following items. Appropriate personal protective equipment. A battery hydrometer. A medium to large sealable glass or plastic container for electrolyte storage. Scissors or a utility knife. And your usage instruction sheet, which you received with your shipment. When treating your battery with battery desulfator, first be sure you are working with a battery that has been fully and properly charged according to manufacturer guidelines. Check your battery's state of charge with a battery hydrometer. If the results indicate a state of charge at or above 50%, proceed in treating with battery desulfator to attempt recovery. If your results do not indicate at least a 50% state of charge, Success of recovery using battery desulfator is not guaranteed. Remove the vent tube caps. Using the battery hydrometer, remove electrolyte from each cell to just above the battery plates. Place the extracted electrolyte in a glass or plastic container. Do not use a metal container. Shake the bottle of battery desulfator well. Remove the seal and cut the tip of the battery desulfator bottle. Add the proper amount of battery desulfator to each cell. Be careful to avoid contact with metal as this could neutralize the chemical. Take care to use the proper quantity. Adding too much desulfator may raise the voltage possibly resulting in damage to your battery. To determine the proper quantity of battery desulfator to add, refer to the quantity chart on the bottle or the accompanying usage instruction sheet. When you have finished adding the proper amount of desulfator to your battery, refill each battery cell with the reserved electrolyte to bring the overall fluid level to about 1 8 inch below the vent tube well. If you have any electrolyte remaining, Store it in a sealed container or dispose of it properly. Replace the vent tube caps. After treating your battery with thermoil battery desulfator, recharge your battery at a very slow rate the first few times so as not to let the battery heat up, which could warp the battery plates. If the battery begins to get warm to the touch, stop charging, let cool, then discharge and slow charge the battery again. Cycle the battery, cycle meaning charge and then discharge, three to seven times for maximum sulfation removal. 